Hi, this is JP from Not the Lights Over Arkham. Uh, this will be a new series for Arkham Horror, the card game, and it is called Eye of Chaos. In this series, I will be playing the Midnight Mask scenario, and I will be picking an investigator at random and building a Chaos deck for it in the ArkhamDB.com website. So, without further ado, let's pick our Investigator. I have all of my investigator tokens in this bag, so we'll pick one at random. And that is the investigator we are building a deck for. So it is Silas Mars. So we are building a Silas Mars deck. Okay, let's hop into the ArkhamDB.com website and we have uh, Silas Mars here ready to go, so instead of building Silas normally, we will just hit the chaos button and see what comes. So let's do that. And yeah, whatever. Okay, uh, let's see what we got, so... Uh, okay, well, at least one fire axe, uh, flashlight... Gravedigger shovel is okay, meat cleaver is okay, newspaper is fine, old keyring is nice. So we have uh, weapons and uh, investigative tools in the hand slots, that's really good. We have one trench coat, mm, it's okay, nothing special. Uh, we got Peter Sylvester, which is really nice for Silas. Uh, drawing tin, okay, well, if we want to get some cards or resources, that's okay. Smoking pipe, actually uh, quite good for Silas. You can trade off health for horror. <laughs> One copy of Glimmer of Hope, pretty useless. Okay, well it's a wild icon. Mm, act of desperation. Uh, not that exciting. Belly of the Beast is okay. Falling in favor as well, uh, not that useful because we only have one ally. Dumb luck, not that exciting. Uh, for just discovery times one. Oh yeah, there's actually two dumb lucks. Uh, well, it's uh, agility icons. Uh, for just discovery times one is pretty useless. Uh, grit your teeth, okay. Uh, live and learn, that's fine. Oops, another quite useless card usually. Uh, Perseverance, actually quite okay. Uh, one copy of Tempt Fate, why not? Okay, and uh, now we get to the skills which are really important for Silas. Uh, not without a fight. Well, it's a flexible one. A fearless, kills one horror if you succeed. Uh, predestined. Well, <laughs> nothing really, really good. Rise to the occasion, okay. Uh, say your prayers, times one. Well, uh, we might uh, get to three or fewer remaining sanity, so this could be useful. And stunning blow. And uh, I didn't mention we are using the uh, Instrument Conspiracy signature cards. And let's check the random basic weakness. And it's nihilism. Well, nihilism isn't that bad. It's it's actually one of the softer uh, weaknesses. And there is the deck. So I will next build the deck and we'll get started. So let's get going. Okay, and uh, we are ready to begin. So uh, we have built the deck, we start at your house, and as we are playing as a standalone uh, scenario, the rule priest is in the encounter deck also. Uh, our objective is to uncover as many of the cultists from the cultist deck underneath the uh, scenario reference card. So let's hope Salas does well. and. Uh, we start by drawing our opening hand. Let's see what we get. Fortuitous discovery. 
uh, rise to the occasion, fire axe, ten fate, and growing thing. So I'm thinking of keeping these two, and shuffling the rest. So we are looking for some clue tech. So hopefully we hit something. And no, uh, we get oops, smoking pipe, and PLS. So not that great of a start. At least we have the fire axe for fighting and growing tin to help us getting more cards. I think we're our first turn will be to play the fire axe and growing tin and trying to investigate. Okay. Just grabbing the action counters, which I forgot. So, uh, first action will be to play the fire axe. Second action will play the growing tin. And uh, I'm actually uh, boosting the difficulty of the investigation check. Uh, no, there's no point. Let's just try to investigate two versus two. Uh, we don't have anything to boost the test with. Okay, so um, might as well boost so we can draw an extra card. And we are playing on standard difficulty as usual. So uh, the test is uh, four versus two. Uh, we are probably not succeeding. So minus two, we fail. Uh, we get to draw a card. We get Peter Sylvester, which is fine. And that is that. So we we'll go to upkeep. We draw card and we gain our resource. So that was the first turn. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, we add a doom to the agenda. Uh, one of six and counter card is it's an acolyte. So I think we are spawning the acolyte so that we can kill it immediately to river town. So it comes into play with one doom. This should be readied, and uh, let's start our turn. So uh, we'll play Peter Sylvester. We'll move. We're uh, forgetting the clues at this point because we don't have any help to investigation. So the acolyte engages us. And we will hit it with the fire axe as our third action. So we are fighting uh, uh, three versus uh, four versus two, uh, three. Mm, and I'm thinking of committing the oops just to guarantee the kill. And we are not gonna play the oops anytime soon. So. We hit a skull, and skull is X. X is the highest number of doom on cultist enemies, so one. So we hit and we kill cultist or the acolyte. And that is that, so. Uh, we could have uh, used the drone team here, but we didn't. Oh well. Uh, no enemies, we go to upkeep, we draw a card. Uh, see, Chai change harpoon and we gain a resource so that is that turn let's go to the next turn we add another doom the encounter card for this turn is hunting shadow uh, you must either choose one uh, spend one clue or take two damage we don't have any clues so we have to take the damage fortunately that is that and uh, there should be one clue here. We should actually just try to investigate here. We are really low in investigate uh, or intellect icons in this deck, so I'm just trying to investigate uh, two versus one. It is a minus one, so we succeed and grab this clue. We need two clues to uh, 
advance or, or uh, get a cultist out of the cultist deck. So maybe we'll pop into the graveyard here. There are two clues here. And forced after you enter graveyard, test willpower 3. If you fail, you must either take two or move to the river town. So now uh, we'll spend uh, some cards. We are not playing the sea to change our boon, so we'll commit that and PLS. So we are 4 versus 3. So that was the second action. Or, uh, yeah, that was the second action to move here. It's a minus 3. Uh, we'll take the horror, so 1. One on Peter and one on Silas, because we don't want to move out of here. I will pull back the uh, VLS, because we are failing either way. And last action, we'll try to investigate, so uh, two versus one. It's an Elder sign, so we can commit the Silas's, or let's check. Uh, we don't have any skills in our discard, so we can't commit anything from there, unfortunately. But still, uh, we succeed, we grab a clue, that is that, so no enemies, we'll go to upkeep, uh, rise to the occasion, and one with So, that is that turn, next turn we can uh, bring out one of the cultists, so that is good, so let's go to the next round. Yeah, the Doom, encounter card for this turn is... Another acolyte will do the same, just spawn it in the same place, the river town, so we can kill it off easily. We add a doom to the uh, acolyte. First action, uh, we will uh, investigate. So. We'll investigate uh, 2 versus 1. It's a 0. Uh, we grab this clue. Second action will move here. The uh, Acolyte engages us and we'll hit it. And I think I'm committing the not without a fight to this test. Uh, we are hitting 5 versus uh, 6 versus 3. Actually, uh, do I take a risk here? No. So, 6 versus 3. It's a skull, it's a minus 1. I will pull this back actually. So, we still hit, we kill the acolyte. And that is our turn. No enemies, upkeep, we draw Fortress Discovery, and we gain one resource. So and Peter heals or actually Peter would have healed the horror last turn but it is what it is so next turn hopefully we can spawn on a cultist so that is that turn let's go to the next turn we are at 4 of 6 doom and counter card is on wings of darkness so I test agility 4 if you fail take 1 damage and horror then disengage from each non not got enemy and engage with you and move to the central location. And uh, we are testing four versus four. We don't have any cards we could commit for this test. Uh, actually, we are five versus four. We have Peter in play. So we are testing. It's a minus one, so we succeed and. Nothing bad happens. First action, we'll spend two clues and we'll just draw the bottom card from here. And it is uh, Ruth Turner. Spawn St. Mary's Hospital, forced after Ruth Turner is evaded, add her to the victory display. Okay, 
So I'll place root here. So I think we are heading into St. Mary's Hospital and trying to evade. So there is one clue here. Root engages us and we will evade. We are testing 5 versus 5 and I'm committing uh, not without a fight to the test. So we are uh, testing 7 versus 5. It's a 0. And uh, root goes to the victory display. So 1 of 5 called this down. And that is our turn. And uh, we'll actually pull this back into our hand because we were succeeding with the zero. No enemies, we go to upkeep, uh, we draw Grave Digger Shovel and we gain one this. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We had a doom. We are at five of six. We have six cards in hand. Encounter card for this turn is it's the ghoul priest. Oh no. Okay, well, the ghoul priest uh, spawns on us. So, we have to deal with that. Let's see, do we have any, any tricks up our sleeve? So, we are fighting 4 versus 4. We just need to start chipping away. So, um, first action we'll spend three resources to boost the fire axe. So, we are um, seven versus four. It's a cultist. Minus two, plus one doom on the nearest cultist enemy. No cultist enemies in play. So we deal one damage. Second action will do the same. Seven versus four. It's a zero. And now we deal two damage. Because... Uh, we don't have any resources, and last action will commit uh, not without a fight to be six versus four. And uh, I think that must be it. So, six versus four. It's another zero. Let's pull this back, so 4 versus 4 we still hit, and the ghoul be, uh, priest is defeated and goes into the victory display. So, uh, luckily we were able to uh, deal with the ghoul priest there. So, uh, that is our turn. No enemies in play, we draw a card, gain a resource. That is that turn, let's go to the next turn. We add a Doom to the Agenda, so the Agenda advances. And it is the Mast Hunter. So the Mast Hunter is a 4, 5, 4 health plus 2 health per investigator, so 6. And 2 uh, evade humanoid cultist elite spawn engaged with the prey. Uh, the prey is most clues, it's Hunter. Uh, so while we are engaged, we can't discover or spend any clues. So we need to heal off this guy, but it's one of the cultists, so that actually helps us to defeat more of them. So first action, uh, we will spend one resource. And uh, let's spend the Grave Digger Shovel. No. So we are fighting uh, 5 
versus four. Another zero, so we deal two damage. Second action, now we will commit not without a fight. So six versus four. Zero. Another two damage. Last action. Uh, we'll pull this back uh, at the last test and now we spend it again. Now we can't pull it back, but at least um, we probably will be killing off the last hunter. Uh, actually, there are a lot of. Well, there are. The tablet is a minus three, so I think I'm also committing the Grave Digger Shovel just to be safe. So, seven versus four. Uh, it's a minus two. It's a cultist. Uh, we can't pull anything back, but we deal two damage. So, the last hunter is defeated. And we add it to the victory display, so that is actually good news for us. No enemies in play. We go to upkeep, we draw a card, a dumb luck, and we gain a resource. So we are really struggling with the clue tech not coming up, but it is what it is. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We add a doom to the agenda, and the threshold is now 8, so we have uh, 6 more turns to do something, or, or 7 actually, but... Um, we'll draw an encounter card, and it is uh, mysterious chanting, no cultist in play, so we'll just get a acolyte, so we can kill it easily. And uh, I think we'll spawn the acolytes to... Um, uh, let's go to the Miskatonic University maybe next, so... Comes into play with one doom. That is that, so... I think first action is to... I think we're just in... Investigating ones here. Trying to grab this clue. So, 2 versus 2. Not 2 does, minus 1. So, we fail. And uh, uh, we don't have to rush to the acolytes. We'll just keep on trying to investigate. So, investigating 2 versus 2. Minus 2. And let's try one more time. 2 versus 2. Minus three, so again we fail, and that is the turn. No uh, enemy actions. We go to upkeep. Uh, Siren call unfortunately comes into play, and again one resource. So yeah, not looking really good at the moment. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We had a doom. The encounter card for this turn is false lead. If you have no clues, false lead can search. If you have one or more clues, test intellect 4. For each point you fail by place one of your clues onto your location. Nothing to commit. So, we are failing this. So, zero. We still fail and drop one of our clues. That is a shame. Well, I think I'm doing a double action here to get rid of this. Last action, we'll just try to investigate. Really qu <laughs> quick turns, but we are really struggling to get clues, so not looking good. So, 2 versus 2, and uh, we draw an Elder Sign actually. So, let's see if there's any cards we can grab. Uh, there is only one skill card, and we can't commit that to the test, but at least we grab one of the clues. And that is that turn, so nothing. Enemy face, we'll draw newspaper and we gain one resource. So 
that is that turn let's go to the next turn we are a doom and counter card is horse lead again okay so we are just treading water here so um, minus two we fail we drop a clue okay well we'll play the newspaper down we'll investigate and we'll we'll get plus two if we have no clue so four versus two auto fail uh, let's investigate again four versus two minus two so we grab one clue so uh, we are back at the state we started this turn and nothing else happened so we just lost the turn there so no enemy actions we'll go to upkeep we draw a card uh, act of desperation and we gain one resource so let's check one two three four five six seven we still have room in our hand so that is that turn let's go to the next turn we had a doom uh, we are at uh, five of eight because the cult is, uh, the acolyte is in play and count card is uh, obscuring fog so now the difficulty is four so that actually helps us a bit because now we can commit rise to the occasion because the test is too higher so we are one up so we are testing five versus four so let's hope that is enough to grab this clue minus one uh, we can't pull this back so still we grab this clue uh, and the obscuring fog goes away second action will move to the university and this guy engages us and uh, we'll actually spend a couple of resources to guarantee we hit uh, we are fighting uh, six versus three actually i'm committing this and using the growing tin plus one so we draw a card we get the stunning blow this guy is defeated and there's two clues here and uh, that is our turn so uh, we ready up we draw a card say your prayers and gain one resource okay next turn we can spawn another cultist and i think that might be the last one we have time for but we'll see so that is that turn let's go to the next turn we are at five of eight doom in front of our ease. hunting shadow uh, you must either spend one clue or take two damage i'll take the damage This to a, so we have taken four damage, but we can't afford to lose any clues. So that was the mythos phase. Uh, first action will spend these two clues to draw one cultist from here, and it's Herman Collins, and it spawns at the graveyard. So we'll be heading there. So um, choose and discard four cards from your hand. Pale at Herman Collins. Play. So, I think we'll move, move, and discard four cards. So, actually, um, oh yeah, we already did one action. So, let's, let's think about it a bit. I think I'll just move and I'll draw a card and it's grit your teeth. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we are at our hand limit, but it is what it is. And that is our turn. No enemy actions. We go to upkeep. We draw a card. We get uh, belly of the beast. 
have to discard one card and I'm discarding the Fortress Discovery. And we gain one resource. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We are doom. Uh, we are at six of eight. So basically, the next turn for after this is the last one. Encounter card is, and uh, it's the wizard of the order. So any empty location. Okay, so that just changed things. So we are at the end of the mythos phase. We are doom here. So this is our last turn. There's no way around it. So first action, uh, we'll move to the graveyard. Actually, we need to this guy here. So it engages us, and uh, we move into the graveyard. We have to test, and uh, I'm committing uh, perseverance and fear, and. Uh, That's it. We are testing uh, 5 versus 3. Skull is X. X is the highest number of Doom on a cultist, so much 1, so we succeed. Second action uh, will actually uh, heal one horror and we'll pull anything back. Then uh, yeah, second action will be just discard four cards, no matter what. So, Herman Collins is moved into the victory display. And last action, we will resign. So, that uh, was an okay run with uh, a Chaos deck with Silas Mars. The the problem was that we didn't hit our clue deck the whole game. So let's see. I think the clue deck was just at the bottom of the deck. So yeah, flashlight there. Yeah. Gearing. Yeah. So. Those clue cards were at the bottom of the deck. We uh, we managed to get uh, Grave Digger Shovel at one point, but we needed to commit that to fight one of the bigger bad guys. And uh, we weren't able to snatch more clues, but still, um, we managed to get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven victory points, which is an okay result with this kind of deck. and. This in this scenario, so we weren't able to get the last three cultists, uh, Peter Warren, Wolfman Drew, or Victoria Devereaux. So, still I think this was an okay run with a Chaos deck. Uh, Salas Mars is a bit wonky if you can't build him properly, with a lot of really powerful skill cards that you can cycle back and forth from the discard or uh, pay them and get them back to your hand, so uh, considering that, I think this was a decent run of the Midnight Mask scenario. So uh, I will be doing more of these now and, uh, now and again whenever I have, uh, have time and uh, at the moment because I'm still waiting for new releases for Arkham Horror, the return to the Circle London hasn't still arrived, and if it doesn't arrive in a week or so, I will be doing a few more of these just to keep you guys entertained and pumping out the episodes at my channel. So, hope you guys like this uh, format and playthrough. Thanks for watching, and until next time.